Hey everyone, welcome back to Trainer Mark, the channel where we open Pokemon cards together. My name is Mark, and today I have a very special opening for you guys. We're going to be checking out two brand new boxes of Rebellious Clash. And this is the latest set from Japan for Sword and Shield, which I believe just came out last Friday, which is March 6th. And we have not seen any of these in English yet, but we will in the near future for our Rebel Clash set. But once again, these will be brand new cards for Sword and Shield that we have not seen in our English release yet, and these just came out in Japan. So we're looking at some new V cards, new V Max cards, and of course, if we're lucky, some new secret rares. So hopefully we get some awesome pulls from the packs today, and we're gonna be opening up all 60 of the packs, 30 each box. So please hit that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon TCG content and releases. And thank you so much for your support. We're almost at 200 subscribers, so let's see if we can get there with this awesome video and release of Rebellious Clash. So without further ado, why don't we jump into our boxes and see what we get in these really, really awesome packs that just got released in Japan. So why don't we start with the box on the right. We'll set this one aside. There's that box art, really cool, features Toxtricity, which is pretty sweet. I believe that's his amped form. I'll give you guys a view of the different box angles. Very cool. Once again, this, uh, so this set is called Rebellious Clash. Uh, in Japan, and we'll be getting a set called Rebel Clash that features a lot of the cards that are going to be in this set. So let's open up the shrink wrap. If you have not seen a Japanese Pokemon cards opening, their format is a little bit different when it comes to their booster boxes. Each box comes with 30 packs, so a lot more. Actually, no, it's not as much as uh, English booster boxes. Those come with 36, but... Uh, so there's 30 packs in here, uh, but they're a little cheaper than the English booster boxes because there's only 30 packs. And each pack only comes with five cards in the Japanese release. So they're very thin, very skinny packs, but, um, well, even more so, uh, they, they don't come with a, a rare in every pack actually in Japan. So these five card packs do not guarantee a rare in each one, but some of them of course still do. And uh, these little tear-off cardboard things, just a fun fact, are actually for these stores to rip off. Um, so they can put them on the hangers and you can bring it to the counter so they can uh, give you a booster pack from the back. That's kind of a cool thing. But anyway, here's the 13, uh, sorry, 30 packs. 15 on the left, 15 on the right. Why don't we start with the right side and go through all 15. Here's the pack art matching the box art for a Rebellious Clash. Very, very cool. And if you have been following me for a little bit for our previous Pokemon card openings, you know that, well, one, I don't know the names of these Sword and Shield Pokemon super well. So please forgive me if I don't remember all of them since it's in Japanese. But also, I love the quality of Japanese Pokemon cards. They're very nice. I believe they're printed uh, on a paper and with ink that's nicer than the English ones, which is also nice. Anyways, we'll see. Let's get started. Here we go. First cards coming out. Once again, these are brand new, never before seen cards. So, very cool. Heracross, I know that one. Starting us off, we got a really nice Nine Tails V regular art. Very cool. Great way to start off our opening of Rebellious Clash. We'll put that in the recap pile and go through that. Scizor, very cool artwork. We'll go through the recap pile at the end of the video to check out the awesome pulls we got in these two boxes. Let's move it along because we got 60 packs to go through between these two boxes. So yeah, once again, um, Pokemon cards, uh, Japanese Pokemon cards are really nice, good quality. Temple, I believe. But also, you don't get a rare in every pack. This is a good example of that. This is where the Ninetales V was in our last pack, but we don't have a hollow rare or a rare at all in that pack. Only five cards. Let's keep on going through these packs. And in my experience with each 30 pack booster box with Japanese cards, you usually get one hyper rare guaranteed in each box. And I think I think a super rare, sorry, not super rare, a secret rare actually counts extra. So you can get two really nice pulls from one box. A lot of Sword and Shield Pokemon. We got a VMAX card already in our third pack. How nice. We got a Malamar VMAX. Very cool. 
it's just exciting to see new VMAX cards be released because we only got a few so far in the base set. But here we have some brand new ones featuring Malamar VMAX. Very cool. We'll add that to the recap pile. Some awesome pulls already, guys. And I think there's a lot more to come. And of course, there's at least one hyper rare hiding in one of these packs. And then also hopefully another one in the next box. And hopefully we also see a secret rare. That'd be cool. Some glitter. Next pack. Sir Skit. Oh my gosh, we already pulled our hyper rare slash super rare. We have a full art V card of this dragon type Pokemon, I believe. Pseudo legendary. Sorry, I don't remember the name of this particular one, but uh I could be wrong about that, but we have our super rare, it says SR in there, on that corner, super rare full art V card, very nice, so we pulled it pretty early, but very, very nice card, textured, full art, I feel like the hollow foil pattern is also nicer on Japanese releases, and there we can see how nice it looks, so let's Go through the rest of these packs. That does not necessarily mean that we won't pull something really cool in the remaining packs because there are still secret rares out there, I believe. And there are also a lot more V cards that we have not seen yet. So Trubbish. No rare in this pack. We got a Wish Cash though and a Snorlax. More Snorlax cards in this set. All right, let's keep going. Very, very cool pull so far. We've already seen some brand new cards with this set, which is what we're going for. In Rebellious Clash, we got a, a Lombre. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Oh, cool. We got a V version of that full art that we just pulled, except this is the regular art version. Very nice. There we go. Next pack. Making good progress. I am really excited for this to open up um, to a release in uh, English as well. And I'll be opening some of that when that comes out. Phantom. Magmar, that's cool. Gen 1. Some sort of a shovel or spade item card. And a Trevenant, I believe. There we go. Next pack. And we got another VMAX card. Very, very nice. Uh, wow, that's a really dynamic art. Is this the Qfint Final Evolution? I think it is. Very nice VMAX card. Our second VMAX pull of the box. Very nice textured pattern and holographic, of course. We will add that to the recap pile. So many V Pokemon already being pulled. Let's move along here. Keep it moving. We will see all those cards once again at the end. All right, here we go. Next pack. Very sad illustration there. Some sort of colorless energy, no rare for this pack, but we got a Magmortar, which is kind of cool. Oh, and let me show you guys the uh, back of this booster pack. It tells you, for almost all the rarities, how many cards there are in that particular rarity in the set. And of course, they keep the secret rares, uh, that number hidden, because then it wouldn't be that secret, right? All right, let's move on here. Lotad. We got another V Pokemon, the Centipede one. Very cool. Once again, forgive me for not memorizing all the names so far of Sword and Shield Pokemon, but I will get there uh, as we open up more Sword and Shield. A very nice pull here. Another V Pokemon regular print. And a beware.
The set is looking really nice so far, by the way. It's cool to see a mix of new generation Pokemon and old. Clefairy! That's a really nice illustration there. Durant, and no rare for this pack. Well, that's a cool looking lightning energy. Once again, we have a second box of Rebellious Clash to go through today in this very same video, so please stick around for that. We are almost halfway through our first box. Wingle, Electrode, Barboach, I think? Probopass? And Electivire. No rare in that pack. All right, here we go. That's a nice coffin. Lotad. Oh, we got our first hollow rare, finally. I've been, wondering, I've been wondering when these are gonna pop up because I'm like, wait, these are in the set too, regular hollow rares. Very nice. Featuring the sword and shield Pokemon, the charcoal one, I believe, that you find like in the mines. Here we go. Next pack. Oh, that's a Galarian Darumaka, I think. Oh, cool, we got a Hollow Rare Giovanni trainer card. And I believe there's a full art version of this trainer as well as a Rainbow Rare version of the trainer. It looks really, really cool. So maybe we'll see that in the other box. Hollow Rare Giovanni trainer card, very cool. And she is the assistant to the chairman in the game. All right, here we go. Voltor, very cool. No rare in this pack. Ooh, that's a nice artwork. Here's our last 15 packs for the first box, and then we'll jump right into the second one. When you open Pokemon cards in Japanese and you don't already have the new generation memorized, it really shows you how much we're reliant on the English text on these cards to remind us the names of the Pokemon. No rare in this pack. But I am enjoying myself nonetheless, and I hope you guys are too. Please remember to hit that like button for this new Rebellious Clash set. And of course, subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon TCG content. We're so close to 200 subs. So maybe with this video, we can actually get there. Here's our Hollow Rare Luxray. Very cool. Nice pattern. I like how Japanese Pokemon cards have a hollow foil pattern on the edge and border of the card as well. Really makes it pop. It'd be cool if we started doing that for our English releases too, actually. Next pack. Haven't seen a V Pokemon in a while, but we did start off really well. So maybe this is a little bit of a break. Phantom, Spiritomb, that's cool. Snorlax, kind of forgot about Spiritomb for a while. And here, Spiritomb's making a comeback in this set. Ooh, cool, Electabuzz to match the Magmar that's also in this set. Scyther, very cool. Nice, we got a holographic rare Chandelure. It's a nice card, and a stadium card. Next pack. Let's try to go a little bit quicker so it doesn't become like a two hour ordeal as much as I would love. Oops, spoilers, sorry about that guys. Uh, as much as I would enjoy that experience there. We got a Malamar V, very cool. This matches our Malamar V Max that we got earlier. And uh, that's a really nice card. Uh, we got the V Max for Malamar and the regular art print for Malamar V. Sorry for slipping there. Showing you guys the rare early. No rare in this pack. Next pack there. All right, handful more to go for this first box. 
And then we'll jump straight into the second one right afterwards. Voltorb. Trainer card. No rare in that pack. Will we see a secret rare in these final packs? That would be really, really nice to get a glimpse of what they look like in this new set. Another Scyther. Oh, another Hollow Rare. The Penguin from Sword and Shield that has its head frozen in ice. Not my favorite design from the Pokemon Company, but I'll roll with it anyways because he's kind of funky. We'll add that to the recap pile. There's a Pelipper. Nice to not pull any repeats so far, but there are a lot of cards to collect in this set, so. Here's more Pico. I think that's the first more Pico we've pulled there. Sigilyph. Ooh, is that a pearl? Big pearl? I bet that card is a secret rare trainer that really, really shines with the uh, new Secret Rare Hollow Foil pattern. All right, we got another V card. Very cool. The Evolution of Qfint, I believe. That's a new one for us right there. A bit more packs. All right, here we go. Let's keep going here. Heracross, Lectivire, the Pheasant Pokemon. All right, next pack. Almost finished with the first box, and hopefully we can blaze through the second one so the video doesn't get too long. We got a Hollow Rare Galarian Coffin, or sorry, Galarian Weezing. Very nice. They've already printed a card of the new Galarian Weezing form. Very cool. Looking like a gentleman in that artwork. Kind of creepy, too. Nice pull. The trainer card. Three more packs. I still think there's hope for a secret rare. Buzz, no, oh, a Ludicolo though. And a Scissor, that's a great illustration on that Scissor card. I think that deserves a hollow treatment. Because it's such a cool picture. Here we go. Second to last pack for our first box. Clefairy, is there a Clefable? There's gotta be. Nice, we got a hollow rare. Very cool. Show you guys the holographic there a little bit. And a psychic energy, what are these energies? There's like one for every uh, energy type. See, there's a, elect a lightning one, psychic one now. All right, last pack magic for our first box, guys. Will we pull something good in this last pack? Let's find out, Scyther. Dharma. No, we will not, unfortunately, but it was a good box nonetheless. Let's jump into our second one. Our second box of Rebellious Clash coming right up. Hopefully we can see a Rainbow Rare, a Secret Rare in this box. And a Hyper Rare or a Super Rare that is different than the one that we actually just pulled in the last box. So we can grow our collection. There it is. Fumbling around with it. 30 more packs to go and I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker since we've seen most of the common and uncommon cards. But of course, I will stop for the rare pulls that we get. Here we go. Rebellious Clash, box number two. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, that one was a little bit harder to open. All right, here we go. Pafari, 
Whizcash. Toxicroak, I believe. No. Palpitoad. Oh, wow. These are... What's, what's up with these packs? They're not opening as smoothly as the last one so far. Next pack. Magmar. Temple. Electabuzz. Nice! We got another holographic rare Luxray. We actually already pulled one of those in our last box, but all good. Trying to see some repeats in the second one. All right, here we go. Move along here. Litwick. Promo pass, Trevenant. Nothing new there. Please remember to hit that like button if you're enjoying this opening of Rebellious Clash, which just came out in Japan last Friday. I really appreciate the support and I really appreciate your likes. Especially if you're enjoying this video. That's the most important part here. Got a Surskit, Wingle, and a Clefable. They gave Clefable the hollow rare treatment in this set, which is very, very nice. Hollow rare Clefable. Add that to our recap pile. Let's keep going. A lot of cool cards to pull. It looks like they follow similar ratios in each booster box. Probably get two VMAX cards. A few, maybe three or four V cards, maybe even five. And then one hyper rare. Another Chandelure holographic rare. Oops, drop that. Let's keep going. Once again, these packs are opening very differently than the last box for whatever reason. Here you go, Voltorb. Coughing, Lectivire. All right, we're seeing similar common and uncommon cards being pulled. So I'm just looking for the the variation in the V cards, I guess. Now there's that shovel again, trainer card. I don't know, guys. I have a good feeling about the second box. Probably because we haven't pulled anything too crazy yet, but we'd really like to see something really blow our minds from this box here. Nice! We've got another Ninetales V, which we actually started off with in our last box. Very nice. A nice card. Next pack here. Scyther. Is that a Sandy Ghast? Alright, let's keep going along. Surskit. Litwick. Oh, here we go, another Hollow Rare Galarian Weezing, and a Sigalith for second one there. Still haven't seen any VMAX cards so far. Keeps it exciting. Scizor, no rare in this pack, Magmortar. Let's move on here. Almost halfway through our second box. Still have yet to see some VMAX pulls and we have not seen our hyper rare pull either or super rare pull. Scyther, nice, we got a Malamar VMAX again. A duplicate, unfortunately, but a really nice card nonetheless. I actually don't know how many VMAX cards there are in Rebellious Clash, but maybe there's not that many, which is why we got a repeat, but I know there's more than two. So it's a little unfortunate that we pulled a duplicate, but a very, very nice card, regardless of getting two of them. It's very cool, so. Let's move along here. More Pico, 
Phantom, Electivire again. No rare in that pack. About to hit the halfway point. There we go. Cool, we got a Stone Journer. Haha, I actually know the name of this Pokemon. Uh, holographic Rare. Very nice. Stone Journer was also present, I believe, in the base set that we opened up recently. Interesting to see him again in Rebellious Clash. All right, here we go. Psychic Energy Trainer. All right, we're down to our last 15 packs, guys. We have not seen our second VMAX, and we have not seen our uh, Hyper Rare or Super Rare yet either. So we have a really exciting last 15 packs to open up. What will we see? Will we see a Secret Rare in one of these, in this box? Wingle, Electrode. We caught a, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Give me a second. Melodic V, wow, very, very nice card. I'm sure there's a full art version of this card because Melodic is such a nice looking Pokemon. But this is our first Melodic V pull of our two boxes here. Very, very nice card. Very happy to have pulled that. There's a Lightning Energy trainer card. Melodic V. I have not said the name of that Pokemon in ages, which is why it kind of slipped my mind. So apologies for that. I definitely knew it was in there somewhere. Coughing. Snorlax, no rare in this pack. Let's move along here. We got a, oh, what's the name of this Pokemon? This is the new Pokemon in Sword and Shield, but we got a V card, regular print of it. Very, very nice. One of the gym leaders has one of these. Very cool Pokemon. This is the new V card for us, so we'll add that to the recap pile there. So there's actually quite a bit of V Pokemon in Rebellious Clash. Pack fell apart. We still have not seen the super rare yet, so still have that to look forward to, but we are almost finished with our two box opening today. And it has been exciting so far. We've seen a lot of new cards that we have not uh, seen yet in the US. All right, here we go. Voltorb. Oh, cool, we have our second VMAX card, and once again, we've already pulled this one in our last box, unfortunately, but very nice, nonetheless. Our second VMAX pull. Actually, both of our VMAXs from this second box were the same as uh, the first box. So either we're kind of unlucky and we got duplicates for both of them, or maybe there are only two VMAX Pokemon in this set. But I highly doubt that, that there's only two. All right, here we go. Scizor, no rare in the pack. He probably has a full art. But I'm excited for that super rare that is hopefully coming up soon. Oh, here it is. Wow, we were just talking about this card. We got a full art melodic V, very, very nice, super rare, full art. It is, it exceeds expectations. Very, very nice card. I love the artwork on it and the full art treatment. Very, very nice. Nice, the second box, we got the regular art of Melodic V and the full art as well for our super rare. So that is a nice pull. Give you guys a better angle on the hollow foil pattern and the texture. Featured on these full art cards. Very nice. Once again, Melodic V Full Art. Very cool. It's a nice pull. All right, handful of packs left. Thanks for sticking around, guys, to see both boxes being open. I hope you guys enjoyed 
the polls we've been getting. We've been seeing some really cool stuff. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon TCG content. Another Hollow Rare. We've already pulled this in our first box. But yeah, we love opening Pokemon cards together here on the channel. And uh, also subscribe for the giveaway that's still going on for 200 subscribers. So definitely make sure to do that. Check out the description below for instructions. It's not too complicated. No rare here. Spirit Tomb. All right. Handful of packs left. We've already pulled our super rare. It's a really nice one. I'm glad that wasn't a duplicate, actually. Cool, another V Pokemon. We've pulled one of these already, and we actually pulled the full art version of it in our first box. And of course, please stick around for the recap at the end of this video to check out the cool cards that we got in today's opening. Clefairy, Scyther, Darumaka, and there's no rare in that pack. No. Nosepass? Beware. Once again, no rare there. We have two more packs, guys. We've already gone through 60. It's hard to believe that we've gone through 60 packs that quickly, but we are nearing the end of our Rebellious Clash opening. But thank you once again for sticking around. And let's see if we can get something good in these last couple of packs. Cool, we got another holographic rare Giovanni trainer card. I believe there is a full art of him in this set. Oops, sorry. I did not see that pack hiding under there. So we have two more packs as of uh, this one. This is our second to last pack here. Will we see some secret rare of some sort? That would be amazing. But, uh, holographic rare, very nice. We've seen this one already. And there's that big pearl again. All right, guys, we're down to our last pack of Rebellious Clash today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the pulls that we saw today for this brand new set that has just released in Japan. Let's check out this last pack. The fairy and nope, nothing. There's the Ludicolo dancing in celebration of Rebellious Clash coming out. All right, let me show you guys the cards that we pulled in this two box opening of Rebellious Clash. That was 60 packs total. It's quite a bit. I'll go through this really quickly. Go the a lot of hollow rares. That melodic full art, very nice. V Max Pokemon, all sorts of good stuff. There's that regular melodic V. Stone Jr. Malamar V Max. Really nice Nine Tails V. There's a full art version of that card for sure. Luxray. Galarian Weezing. There's the regular print of Malamar V. Giovanni, I don't know what that card's doing in there. Pretend like that never happens. <laughs> Another VMAX. Same VMAX in both boxes, unfortunately. Full art V card there. There's Malamar VMAX again. And our regular art Ninetales V. All right, guys, that will conclude our opening of Rebellious Clash for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more, PC, for more TCG content coming real soon. So thanks again for tuning in, and as always, until next time, take care and peace out.